What's up everybody, welcome back to another Riding Dad video or welcome if it's your first time. Either way, very glad to have you. We're putting on these little pieces of plastic on the bike today. Let's roll the intro, get back to it. Riding Dad, a YouTube channel, it's the Riding Dad, a YouTube channel, it's the Riding Dad, a YouTube channel, it's the Riding Dad, a thing that you found. Wow! All right, so first of all, if the audio quality is kind of crappy, I am experimenting with an old AC unit in the garage, one of those like portable, um, not the window ones, because there's no window in my garage, uh, but one of the ones, you know, you just have like the dryer vent hose kind of thing too, um, but it's on low and it's in the back. It's not really helping right now. The garage is just too damn hot. It's whatever, but if I'm trying it out and if there's any issue with the audio, like if you hear the background of the kind of moaning, droning kind of thing of it, um, I'm sorry, and I'll see you, and the next time I will make sure I don't have it on, but I did turn it on low. Anyway, Harry San Diego, Harry Custom strikes again. We got shims. We got shims, boy. These shims are going to go right here. Uh, it's probably hard to see, and I can't speak for every bike, uh, but I know the Fat Bob and the Lowrider S have slightly tapered forks. Um, so right here at the bottom tree mount, um, you could kind of see it start to come up, and it just so slightly tapers in a little bit. Um, what that means is when you, if you drop the forks down to raise the bike a little bit, um, you have all the way up on the top tree, you have all the way up to where the cap is for your forks. On the bottom tree, uh, you don't because it kind of tapers in. So when you move it, the bottom part of this tree will actually be still mounting in hard contact of the whole fork surface, but the upper part, um, because there's that small gap, you won't have it. So what these shims are going to do, they're going to go right in like that and take up that extra space when we bump it up. Uh, I will actually tell you, this is, you know, a lot of you guys who follow my channel and everything, you guys don't see me talk about or do a lot of torque specs for certain things that I do. Um, this one being that it is a very integral part of steering and I don't want to have any issues or whatever um, or possibly um, have any issues with the threading that are in the um, trees, tree mounts. Um, what we're going to do is actually torque it down to spec. Uh, per my manual, it says 16 to 20 foot pounds of torque. So I'm gonna start out about 14 to 15 on all of them and then go back up incrementally. I'll see how they react. I might get all the way to 20. I might only do 16 to 18, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, so first thing we gotta do is loosen all of these. I do already have the bike jacked up. Um, once they're loosened, I'm gonna jack it up. I have a uh, actual pneumatic jack on the back and then I have just a very small like fine adjustment, um, old school manual like crank jack. I'm gonna put that in the front of the bike and just jack it up ever so slightly that way we can get it very even with that um, to where it's resting on the floor but even still and then i'm going to tighten the top tree clamps first um, and then the bottom and i'll put the shims in there so i'll bring you guys closer we'll get this going and uh hopefully should be pretty easy simple install We'll 
All right, all done. Uh, you could see by the little dirty spots on here, uh, this is where it was. So again, probably about a half an inch, I'd say, of height um, from doing essentially nothing and spending a $20, you know, fee on some pieces of plastic. Very simple, very easy. Um, how do I like it? Well, I don't know. I haven't ridden it. Uh, that is going to be for the next video. I'm going to take it out, see if I can actually see any difference and if my difference is good or bad. I've heard nothing but positive things about this. Um, I have no doubt that it's going to be good, but we're going to take it out and see if I can actually noticeably feel a difference. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see, uh, hopeful, but, uh, yeah, uh, again, thanks to Harry San Diego, Harry San Diego, Harry customs. Um, another great product. Awesome. Lots of big changes to this bike coming. So make sure you are subscribed uh, to this channel. I am literally waiting on three orders that have been back ordered for, from different companies for about one for a month, one for two months, and another one for about two, two and a half months. Um, so literally as soon as those things come videos, back to back, super cool install videos. So uh, make sure you like this video again, subscribe. So you never miss, you know, turn on post notifications. So you never miss uh, one of my videos and uh, check out all the videos and descriptions and everything or links in the description below. Um, check out my TikTok, Instagram, send me DMs, whatever. Let me know what you think of this. Do you have it? Do you have something else or whatever? Um, all that jazz interact with me. I really do appreciate you guys all for watching and subscribing and being involved. And until the next time guys, ride safe, have fun, dad out. Oh,